Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Al Ford J. Dempsey, Jr. I'm a senior judge with the Superior Courts of the State of Georgia, and this is the final plea calendar for the YSL 7 defendants. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call the calendar, and by this time, it, they have been uh, updated offers that may or may not have been the same or different than what may have been previously made, but they have, in fact, been made, and uh, counsel, defense counsel, was instructed to discuss it with their clients. And as I call the calendar, we'll hear what, if any, announcements are being made, whether there's uh, a plea, whether there's a further notice to the trial calendar, or whether or not they need uh, a moment to confer with, with the state and the defen defense counsel further before an announcement is ultimately made. So, all right, everybody, I need to have it quiet in here, okay? Uh, no chit-chatting and all of that. Thank you. First case is... State versus Miles Farley. Good morning, Your Honor. I'm Scott Sisman. On behalf of Mr. Miles Farley, we'd like to please be further noticed to the trial. All right. State have any announcement to be made with regards to this defendant? No further announcement, Your Honor. Your Honor, may we be excused? All right, just one second. Is this, if I understand uh, that whatever the offer was is... Uh, no longer available as of today? Yes, any offers that were made will be withdrawn after today, if not accepted. Okay, then Mr. Farley uh, is further notice to the trial calendar. State's offer is withdrawn. Okay, and you may be excused, sir, with you and your client. All right, thank you, Judge. Good to see you. All right, good to see you, too. Have a great day. Thanks, you, too. Next is... State versus Garlington. Good morning, Judge. Thomas Mondelli for Mr. Garlington. Uh, on this case, Your Honor, the state conveyed an offer uh, in writing, which I've conveyed to my client. Um, I've spoken with the state as well. At this point in time, uh, we are uh, declining their offer. Uh, the case will be further noticed as a result, but for, for discussions with the state, we would like to be able to keep negotiations open. And today is the last opportunity to make a negotiated plea, anything after the debate is going to be non-negotiated, regardless of whether the state or the defendant has negotiated something. We put this on the a calendar a good while back. This case has been going on since since God created Adam. And uh, so if you haven't worked out something yet, too tough. We're just going, moving it to the trial calendar. And, and that's all I've got to say. So... You had plenty of time to talk about what could be done, and that's it. So that's further it. notice to the trial calendar, state's offer is withdrawn. Anything after this is non-negotiated. That's fine, Judge. Thank you. You're welcome. Just the reasons that people generally have motions, I'm sure that when we come in here and, and I'm able to orally express certain things to you, I'm sure that I can not only have a chance to respond to what the state says, but also I can... Um, answer any questions that you may have, frame things in a different way, rather than taking up uh, paper, putting everything in a written brief. Um, so that, that's really why I wanted to be heard, just to, you know, really be able to flesh out some things and answer any questions that you may have. Um, if the Honorable Court stands by his ruling, I completely understand and I respect that. But I did just at least want to be able to put some things on the record. Okay. Right? Well, let the record reflect. You just argued the motion and you haven't said anything that's going to change the court's mind. Uh, and so the motion is denied. All right. Okay. Okay, Your Honor. Was it yesterday sometime or whatever indicating that he had a family emergency and needed to be at the hospital with his father was what, what we were we were told. Uh, I think the state was actually sent a copy of that email as well. Ms. Yes. Hilton? Yes, Your Honor. It looks like, are you here? I am, Your Honor. Uh, my name is Attorney Kareem Cashman. I have been the... Uh, would you would you get on a, get on a microphone for us, sir? And and would you would you uh, come on, man? You know, 
I'm trying to do the best we can. To... Yeah. All right. That's fine. We will see what's what. All right. All right. Yes, sir. Good morning, Judge. Um, as I was saying, my name is Attorney Kareem Cashlin. I'm uh, the newly appointed uh, attorney for Mr. Cobb. This is Mr. Mr. Fleetwood. Fleetwood. Well, that's half the issue. Ms. Jones, did you get the counsel's name? I can have him spell it for you if you need to. Uh, Jarvis Bradford. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. Attorney Aisha Broderick for Mr. Bradford. An offer has been conveyed by the state, and Mr. Bradford is rejecting that offer at this time, and we would like to be further notice to trial. All right. Thank you. Further notice to trial calendar. Good morning again, Your Honor. Uh, as mentioned, I'm Attorney Kareem Cashlin. I was recently appointed uh, on the case uh, not even a month ago. Um, I've yet to receive discovery. Uh, additionally, I have yet to uh, receive a plea offer from my client to even convey to him. And critically, Your Honor, unfortunately, I have been unable to get in contact with my client. Uh, I don't believe he is necessarily absconded from the court's jurisdiction. I believe it's more of a clerical, clerical error in that uh, the conflict office has not given me uh, the proper contact information. So I'll have to go to the clerk and and ascertain that info for him. Your Honor, Mr. Cobb has yet to be arrested on the warrant. In this case, Your Honor, he has not been arrested, so that's probably why there is no address for him because he hasn't been arrested. Right. Yes, he's been, my understanding, since we started, uh, he, he, he's, he's not a, he hadn't been in custody and his whereabouts are unknown at this particular point in time. Yes, Ron, he's the last defendant that has not been arrested. And I, I have seen in his history on Odyssey that um, he might have been returned to Washington State Prison. I checked their database, and he's not an inmate located there. I don't believe we, we aren't showing that Mr. Cobb is in custody anywhere else, are we? Correct. No, <laughs> no Your Honor. Not at okay. this time, no. All right. Well, in, um, unless and until he's before the court, then it's nothing we can do about Mr. Cobb's case. I would just say, stay ready. If he's um, brought into custody or whatever, then you start from there. We'll do, Your Honor. May I be excused? Yes, sir. Have a good day. Thank you, you too. Next would be uh, Mr. Winfrey, but I don't see I am I don't see Mr. Francis. Hey, Your Honor. Oh. All right, Mr. Mr. Francis has filed a filed a leave of absence and he's he's out of the country currently and so Yeah, briefly, go ahead. Sir, that's true. Um, are you are you asking to be able to get someone else appointed, or are you saying that you have the resources or intend to hire a private counsel? Okay. Well, let me let me make sure we're, we're on the same wavelength. What I'm asking is. Our understanding was that you were indigent and not able to afford to hire an attorney. Okay, well, then the question isn't whether you can hire a private counsel or get someone appointed. It would be either you end up having to stay with Mr. Francis or you're able to get someone else. I understand what you're asking 
and we'll take that up at a later date because we need to have him here to be able to 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 to, to uh, hear from Mr. Francis because he didn't. I guess what he got appointed uh, right before the last time we were in court was that not? I'm not arguing with you, Count, sir, sir. I'm not disputing what you're saying right now. Okay, I'm just saying I need to have him here so. We can know the reason why if he hasn't been able to contact you or go go forward with you. And unless and until we find out, we're not going to just give you another lawyer. Uh, well, I have my family retained when I want well, do you, you're free to do that at any time. You're free to do that. You, I'm doing it now on the record. I don't want to use my term. Okay. We hear, I hear you. I hear you. And I just said I'm not going to deal with that. Until we have an opportunity to have the attorney present. Okay. I got you loud and clear, sir. Okay. Uh, okay. So Mr. Winfrey's is, remains open, which we would do because counsel isn't here anyway. And if we need to make a change, uh, the court will look into that matter as to whether or not there's a justification for doing that uh, or not. And in the meantime, Mr. Winfrey, if your family wants to hire counsel, then they're free to do that. There's nothing be but air and op between them doing that, but air and opportunity. And the air ain't going to stop them, and uh, opportunity is still there. So if that happens, then let them make an appearance, and then they can represent you going forward. Good morning again, Judge. Tian Ray Callen for Mr. Khalif Adams. Um, I have conveyed that offer to Mr. Adams, and we are now seeing ready for trial. Okay, further notice to the trial calendar. Thanks, Judge. All right. That concludes my business. May I be excused? You may. Thank you. Tell you what one person's plea deal was, y'all. Let me tell you. <laughs> Let me tell you. Can, I, can we get the likes up, please? Let me tell you some of their plea deals. The last guy that was um, captured, that was arrested, the last guy, Jarvis, guess what his plea deal was? Guess what his plea deal was? And tell me, would you guys have taken this? And he was, um, he's part of the, because there's two murderers on the um, case, right? And um, guess what the, guess what his plea deal was that they offered him? Guess what it was? Come on, y'all. I, You know, I stayed behind to get the information for you. I need you guys to ask the question. Guess what it was? Guess what their plea, the plea deal was for one of the guys that just came in? The last one that they arrested. Guess what it was? And it's a plea deal. Listen to this. Life plus 15. Life plus 15. What the heck? Did you hear that? Life plus 15 on one guy. The other guy was 15 years. The other one was 15 years. But I'm assuming that they're going to give him as probation. But life plus 15. What? <laughs> Who do they think they're playing with? They probably was faced with a lot, a lot of years. You know, like, you know, you know, 20 years is the max for the RICO itself. And then uh, if you have a murder, that's probably life. So that's the kind of, yes, that's the kind of the uh, plea deals they were offering. Those were the kind of plea deals they were offering to, to those attorney. And those guys was like, they laughed at them. They'll take their chances. Well, uh, this was kind of like a little surprise uh, hearing for me. So with that other judge, that nigga, that dude is an asshole, bro. Like you can just tell, I don't even like his voice. They bet, hey, listen, I'd rather have judge your old goddamn Glanville than this dude, because this dude is a piece of work. But um, so those were the was the other members of Wise Hell who initially said they was going to take a plea. Um, if you don't know, when you take pleas, you can tell them you take a plea and you still have to confirm it by a certain date, which I'm guessing today was the date from what I heard. Um, 
So everybody came in today to basically, you know, make let the judge know their decisions. You know what I'm saying? Because their trial was severed. Severed means they having a separate trial. A separate trial, separate trials, the same thing. Like they're gonna have their own trial. Like you see know what I'm saying? Which is weird to me because how that's always been weird to me, but especially on the Rico because how can I even have a, a a separate trial and this is a group charge? Like, I don't know. It, that, that's always been like crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, everybody came in there and basically, I don't know if they've been, you know, getting advice or getting, you know, messages from people or their family or whoever, but everybody said, uh, nah, you know what I'm saying? I changed my mind. It's basically what everybody said. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. Um, we ain't taking the plea. They taking it to trial. Which, like I said, they're going to have their own trial. So I don't even know. I, what, I'm, what I'm thinking is everybody's banking on mistrial. Because, like, if, if if the other trial, which is the main trial we all been watching, the YSL one with Young Thug and um, everybody in there, if that's a mistrial, if that's thrown out or whatever, then they would have to throw this one out because this is a part of that one. It's just that we chose to separate it. Which I know it sounds confusing to people, bro. It was confusing when I first found out about motion to separate and sever and all that shit. Um, but yeah, man, I, I'm just I'm just like, what the hell? This whole, this trial is all over the place. It's everywhere. It's messy. Now you got this. You enter, unlock new character, this asshole judge, Judge Alfred, whatever the fuck his name is. He just sound mad. You know what's crazy? It be them, like, them, them, he probably ain't, he probably can't even fight. He got that condescending tone and he talking like, oh, no, no, no. With a, uh, like, oh my God, man. Hey, listen, good thing they don't got him as a judge, bro. It be them niggas that can't even fight. Like, nigga, knock you up, bust you upside your head, and then what you gonna do, judge? You know what I'm saying? Call the police. You know? Talking like you motherfucking big and bad just because you got a, judge, a, a robe on, judge robe. Um, my opinion is, I think it was smart. I think they were smart for that. You know what I'm saying? I think it was smart. Because if they would have took the pleas, and I had tapped into um, Auntie Sylvia. Shout out Miss Infamous Sylvia. I call her Auntie Sylvia. I tapped into her live this morning, and she was actually there in the courtroom this morning. And um, she actually, you know, gave insight. And as you seen, she said it was, they tried to get them boys, please, a fit, one, well, one of them was, had a, a body. He got life plus 15 years. So basically, they're trying to get him 15 years for a plea. The fuck? And the minimum, and, and y'all trying to give us 20? Nah. <laughs> we'll take this shit to trial. Just on, all based off that. Why would I tap out to 15 years when what y'all trying to give me is 20 if I lose anyway? You feel me? Like, my nigga, nah. And this case still could still be thrown out, could still be, uh, Anything can happen. It's still early for real. I ain't gonna say it's super duper early, but it's, it's we still got time. You know what I'm saying? It's still time for anything to happen. But um, this shit is crazy, bro. I didn't even expect this one. But um, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Did they do the right thing by um not taking the plea or shit? Some of them took the plea. Remember, 15 years was the pleas they was giving them, and then then they trying to give you 20. If you lose, you get 20. But it's like. Five more years, whatever. 85% time. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, which would really rarely be like two and a half more years if we was to, based on 85%, you got to do 85% 80, of your time that you get. And you know what I mean? But like, comment, subscribe, no fear, I'm gone. Yeah. Hey, it's me again, man. I appreciate you, man. Please start what you're doing. Go follow the channels at QShayi TV and Connoisseur, not Connoisseur, for more bonus clips. Um, different content other than this channel or whatever channel. Um, yeah, let's go up, bro. If you want them, like, why he ain't upload on the main channel? It's because I'm over here on these, man. I appreciate y'all. Snowman. Yeah.